If the amount of radioactive phosphorus-32 used to treat leukemia in a sample decreases from 1.2 mg to 0.3 mg in 28.6 days, what is the half-life of phosphorus-32? Okay, so this is question number two. Uh, first, I'm just going to write down everything that we know. We know that our initial mass is 1.2 milligrams. And we know that our final mass is 0 0.3 milligrams. And we also know that the time that it took to get to 0 0.3 milligrams was 28.6 days. And they're asking what the half-life is. So I'm going to show a method, because uh, I can already see the junior tutor answer, and it looks like that is going to give you the correct answer. Uh, but I'm just also going to do a separate method that could uh, potentially help answer. So we can try to break it up into parts. Like, let's say half of 1.2 milligrams is 0 0.6 milligrams. And then half of 0 0.6 milligrams gives you the 0 0.3 milligrams. And we know that this whole process took 28.6 days. So all we have to do is find out how many days it took for the phosphorus to get to 0 0.6 milligrams. And it, similarly, it should be the same amount of days that it took to get to 0 0.3 milligrams. So all I'm going to do is do 28.6 days. And then I'm going to divide that by 2, since I know that this process happens twice. And that's going to give us x. So x is equal to 14.3 days, and this is the half-life of phosphorus, phosphorus. 32. Okay, so let's see the answer from our junior tutor. The nuclear half-life expresses the time required of a sample to undergo radioactive decay. Exponential decay can be expressed mathematically as AT is equal to A0 times half to the power of T over half-life. So AT is the amount of substance left at the time. A naught is the initial amount of substance that will undergo decay. T is the time in question. And then T half is the half-life of the decaying quantity. So this is your standard equation when you want to answer a half-life equation uh, question. I just showed a different uh, type of method that you could do. But this was this is definitely the way to go when you want to try to solve half-life reaction equations, especially if it's not as simple as like two two half lives to make zero point three milligrams. So this is definitely the way to go. So in the problem, the given are the amounts of substance left, the initial amount of the substance and the time in question. 
The only unknown in the equation is the half-life. So you see that all they do is plug in all the values that they're given. So 0 0.3 milligrams is what they're left with. The 1.2 milligrams is how much we started with. The T is 28.6 days. And then we're trying to solve for half-life. So if you bring, if you simplify and try to solve for the unknown, you end up with t and a, t half is equal to 14.3 days. And we know that this is also what we got, so we can confirm that this solution is correct. Okay, moving on to question.